So OnePlus has just spaffed out a fresh new concept smartphone at MWC 2023. It's based on the OnePlus 11, hence it's imaginatively titled the OnePlus 11 concept. And I've had a bit of a fondle, but what is this crazy light show shenanigans all about? Well, let's find out. So the OnePlus 11 and pretty much every premium smartphone out there uses passive coolant to keep from overheating when under duress. We're talking vapor chambers and graphene layers and all of that kind of clever jazz. Proper active coolant is usually only found in big beefy devices like gaming PCs and laptops. Although some gaming smartphones like the Red Magic 8 Pro do have a fan shoved inside to help fart out all of that hot air. And now OnePlus has taken active coolant on a smartphone to the next level with this fancy pants blower right here, the OnePlus 11 concept. For anyone not keeping count, this is the third concept phone that OnePlus has spaffed out. And if you're not aware of the previous two efforts, well, here's a brief history lesson, partly for interest, but mostly just to pad this video out a bit. Feel free to skip it using the video chapters if you can't be asked. never mind that it screws up my video stats. So first came the Concept One, way back in January 2020, remember that? What a time to be alive! A new decade so fresh and filled with possibility and wonder and... <laughs> anyway, the Concept One was a McLaren collaboration with a luxurious leather style arse, but the standout feature here was that swanky electrochromic glass that covered the rear camera. This could darken to disguise the lenses when not in use, and then turn transparent when you actually wanted to take some pics. Snazzy, yet kind of pointless, although that glass could also possibly act as a polarizing filter to temper strong light when shooting in bright conditions. Sadly, we never actually got to test it out on a proper OnePlus phone, so we'll never really know. Anyway, fast forward a full 12 months, and my liver had taken even more of a battering for being stuck inside for an entire frickin' year with nothing better to do than pour booze down my throat and play kaplunk with myself for the millionth f***ing time. Effort number two was the OnePlus 8T concept, which boasted a big old colour change and tramp stamp slathered across the arse. Once again, it's electrochromic glass covering a thin strip of metal oxide, which turned different colours from silver to dark blue when an electric charge is applied. So by varying that voltage, you could turn the glass specific shades. This could be used for a variety of purposes like a makeshift notifications light, and it could also pulse in time with your breathing, which was gloriously pointless. And once again, we never actually saw this tech implemented in a proper smartphone, so concept it remained. And now here we are in 2023 with fancy phone number three, the OnePlus 11 concept. It is essentially the same hardware as the original OnePlus 11, which incidentally I have reviewed here on Techspert and it's proper bloody good and you should definitely go watch that video. But this concept model has one major change. And that is the addition of the active cryoflux coolant system, which sounds like something straight out of Back to the Bloody Future. It's probably so incredibly clever it would have scientist types making an absolute mess of their lab coats. So squirreled away just beneath that glass surface, the OnePlus 11 concept has a series of sealed micro-liquid pipelines stretching across the entire width of the phone. These are filled with fluid which is shunted along through the pipes courtesy of a micro-pump when that active cryoflux is, well, active. The OnePlus 11 concept's pipes are actually filled here with a mixture of water, oil and mica powder so you can actually see the system in action. And this right here, this isn't an animation or anything, these are the actual pipelines underneath the surface squirting stuff around the phone's innards. Unfortunately, this mixture, while undeniably making for a pretty bloody impressive light show, doesn't actually actively cool the handset. It's all just for show in the concept, so I can't test out that cryoflux shenanigans with a good bit of Genshin Impact action. However, OnePlus reckons that active cryoflux may help reduce the temperature during gaming by over 2 degrees for more stable performance under duress. And they also hope that the temperature can be lowered when you're rapid charging a phone for even faster speeds. And the good news is, unlike those other OnePlus concept handsets, apparently active cryoflux will actually be bunged in a future OnePlus smartphone, so we will get a chance to properly test it out at some point. Hip hip as are. So yeah, here's hoping the OnePlus 12 has a bunch of coolant fluid squirting about inside of it to improve the gaming and the charging speeds. The OnePlus has made a couple of other aesthetical changes for the OnePlus 11 concept, including a redesigned camera chassis with a special guillosh, guillosh engraving, apparently only found on premium watches. Ooh, Trez Posh. And apparently that glass arse has a deeper bend now to bestow upon users the calm stillness of a glacial lake. Yeah, 
And there you go, you lovely buggers. That in a delicious little nutshell is the OnePlus 11 concept smartphone. So what do you reckon? Is this the future of smartphone cooling? Well, it'd be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Lots of stuff coming out of MWC 2023. So please do watch all of those videos multiple times and tell your friends. And have yourselves a bloody wonderful rest of the week. Cheers everyone.